Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Most high and crest blessed. I'm Captain Gideon, and to my right, Soldier Ashwin. Uh, you're watching 15 Minutes with the Captain. So today's topic is the color purple. We're going to see what kind of people wore purple because there's a false notion out there you saw off if you wore purple. We're going to show you through scriptures there's a lot of people out there that don't know anything. Uh, Exodus uh, 26 verse 1 and then jump to 31. The book of Exodus chapter 26 and verse 1. Moreover, thou shalt make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twine linen. So this is talking about the curtains that were in the tabernacles. Read. And blue and purple. What color? And purple. And blue and purple. So within the temple, it, uh, where, uh, where the ten curtains were by the tabernacles, guess what? There was purple curtain. I guess the church of the Lord is soft for using purple, right? Read. And scarlet mm -hmm. with cherubims of cunning work shall thou make them. Okay, jump to 31. Verse 31. And thou shalt make a veil of blue and purple. What color? In purple. Blue and purple. Read. And scarlet mm -hmm. and fine twine linen of mm -hmm. cunning work. With cherubims shall it be made. Jump to chapter 28. We're going to read from 5 to 8. Exodus 28, verse, uh, verse 5. And they shall take gold and blue and purple and scarlet. And, and purple. And they shall take gold, blue, and purple and scarlet. Read. And fine linen. Uh-huh. And they shall make the ephod of gold, of blue, and of purple. Mm -hmm. Of scarlet and fine twine linen with cunning work. Read. It shall have the two shoulder pieces thereof joined at, join at the two edges thereof. And, sh and so it shall be joined together. And the curious girdle of the ephod, which is upon it, shall be of the same, according to the work thereof, even of gold, of blue, and purple. Again, purple. We're talking about the priest's garment now. Okay, read. And scarlet, and fine twine linen. So... This is, do the, I, mean, I mean, Exodus 28 is talking about the priestly garment. The priestly garment had purple in it. So I guess we wrong for wearing purple then. No, my friend, you wrong for thinking purple is soft. Purple is in the Bible, and the priest wore purple. Okay? Exodus, uh, jump to verse 33. And Exodus 28, verse 33. Exodus 28, verse 33. Mm-hmm. And beneath upon the hem of it thou shalt make pomegranates of, pomegranates. Blue, pomegranates of blue and of purple. So the pomegranates is the fringes. They had those pomegranate uh, bell fringes. And you ha they had different colors, right? You had um, blue and purple in the priestly garment. Not only they had it on the cloth itself, but the fringes also had purple. I don't understand why people cannot see it. Read. And of scarlet round about the hem thereof, and bells of gold between them round about. So you had one fringe, which was a pomegranate shape, and then one bell. And they were diverse colors. Gold, purple, 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 purple was in the priestly garment. Get it right. Give me Exodus 35, verse 20. Book of Exodus chapter 35 and verse 20. Mm -hmm. And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. And they came, everyone whose heart stirred him up, and everyone who, whom his spirit made willing. And they, and they brought the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation, and for all his service and for the holy garments. So these are the offerings the people give. To build to for the for the holy garments to be made for the uh, for the tabernacles to be made right read let's see what they brought in and they came both men and women as many as were willing hearted and brought bracelets and hearing earrings and rings and tablets all jewels of gold and every man that offered 
that offered, offered an offering of gold unto mm -hmm. the Lord. And every man with whom was found blue and purple. What? And purple. Because you needed linen for the drapes and you needed linen for the what? The priestly garments. So in the temple there was purple. On the priestly garment they were purple. And the people donated those purple um, um, materials. Okay? Was that it on that? And scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair mm -hmm. and red skins of rams and badger skins brought them. Okay, give me first Ezra 3, verse 4. First Ezra chapter 3, verse 4. We're going to read to 6. The book of first Ezra chapter 3 and verse 4. Then three young men that were of the guard that kept the king's body spake one to another. Let every one of us speak a sentence. He that shall overcome and whose sentence shall seem wiser than the others, unto him shall the king Darius give great gifts and great things mm -hmm. in, in token of victory. As, as to be clothed in purple. As to be what? As to be clothed in purple. So they, they're, they're going to put a contest together to see who's the wisest. And the gifts you're going to get is gold. And, and besides that, you're going to be clothed in purple. That shows what? For you to get a, a clothing of purple as a reward, that means purple had a lot of value. It was not the regular fabric that you buy some in some cheap store somewhere. And you're going to find out later on why. So, was that in that? To drink in gold and to sleep upon gold in a chariot with bridles of gold and a head tire of fine linen and a chain about his neck. All right, give me Judith 10, 21. So, so far you can see purple only is dealing so far with royalty. The priest was royalty and the king is royalty. And the gifts is given is gold and purple. All right, Judith uh, chapter 10. The book of Judith chapter 10, verse 21. Now Holofernes rested upon his bed under a canopy. So we're talking about a king, right? Read. Which was woven with purple. His canopy was woven with purple. I guess the king is soft. Laying on purple. Read. And gold mm -hmm. and emeralds. And precious stones. So pay attention now. Gold, emeralds, and precious stones. That means that thing was decked out. And what cloth did they decide to put with it? Purple. Because purple had great value. It's a royal color. Give me um 1 Maccabees 4 23. Book of 1 Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 23. Then Judas returned to spoil the tents where they got much gold and and yeah. silver, read. and blue silk, and purple of the sea. Say, read that again. Then Judas returned to spoil the tents mm -hmm. where they got much gold, and silver, and blue silk, and purple of the sea, and great riches. So Judas spoiled uh, the, the, the tents, and they got gold, silver, blue silk, silk was expensive too, and purple of the sea. Why do they say purple of the sea? Let's read a little history about purple real quick. In Western Polynesia, residents of the islands made a purple dye similar to Tyrian purple mm -hmm. from the sea urchin. From the sea urchin. You needed snails, certain, certain uh, seashells that lived in the ocean to make purple. And you required a lot of them. Read. In Central America, the inhabitants made a dye from a different sea snail, mm -hmm. the purpura, found on the coast of Costa Rica and Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. The Mayans used this color to dye fabric for religious cer ceremonies, while the Aztecs used it, used it for paintings of ide ideograms, where it symbolized royalty. Where it symbolized what? Where it symbolized royalty. So what you gotta get is, what you gotta get is this: purple. To make purple, you needed sna uh, uh, how you say seashells from the ocean. And you needed a lot of it to make a small piece of fabric. This is why it was so expensive. The work was tedious, and you needed to gather a lot of seashell to make just a few yards uh, uh, yard of, of fabrics. Today, the dye is, is, is readily available. You follow? Because they use chemical compound to make it. But back then, throughout the whole world, it was the, the, that was the manner that they used to make it. You got more? Yes, sir. Wait. Through the early Christian era, mm -hmm. the rulers of the 
Byzantine Empire. The who the rulers of the Byzantine Empire throughout the early Christian time read. Continued the use of purple as the imperial color. As what? As the imperial color. As an imperial color. Royalty. Read. For diplomatic gifts. For diplomatic gifts. Purple was so precious, so expensive, you were able to give it as a diplomatic gift to other diplomats from different regions of the world. Read. And even for imperial documents and the pages of the Bible. And pages of what? And page and the pages of the Bible. Read. Gospel manuscripts were written in gold leathering on parchment that was colored Tyrian purple. So we had Bibles that was purple and gold. Purple and gold is lethal, my friend. It's royalty. We even had Bibles that was written on purple with gold writings. Let that sink in. For all you haters of the purple. Purple is royalty. So now you understand why it, it reads on, uh, in 1 Maccabees um, 4.23. Then Judas returned to the spoil, the tents, where they got much gold and silver and blue silk and purple of the sea. Because the purple dye came from the ocean. 1 Maccabees chapter 8 verse 13. Also that whom they would help to a kingdom, those reign, and whom again they would, they displace. Finally, that they were greatly exalted. Yet for all this, none of them wore a crown. All was clothed in purple to be magnified thereby. See that? This is talking about the Senate house back in, the, back in uh, Maccabees time. So it says, none of them wore a crown. Or wore purple. Why? Because they didn't want to be magnified. Because when you have a crown on your head and you actually have purple on your back, people magnify you. You follow? Purple is not a, a little vagabond, a little ruffian color running around uh, 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 wearing purple all, all day, every day. No. You have, to be, you have to be rich to afford it. It's a, it's a royal color. Give me 1 Maccabees 10 now. Verse 20. Book of 1 Maccabees chapter 10 and verse 20. Wherefore, now this day we ordain thee to be the high priest of thy nation, and to be called the king's friend. And therefore, he sent him a purple robe. You see that? When they make him uh, a friend of the king, and uh, made him high priest, they sent him a, a purple robe. Because that distinguished you from the rest of the people. Everybody wants to see you with that robe. Oh, he's not a, a he has, he's not a nobody. He's somebody because he's wearing purple. Was that it on that? In a crown of gold. First Maccabees chapter fourteen verse forty three. Beside this, that he should be obeyed of every man, and that all the writings in the country should be made in his name, mm -hmm. and that it should be clothed in purple. You see what happened when you get ex exalted. Every time you get exalted, purple was the color that you read in the Bible. From the priest in Exodus all the way throughout the whole Bible. Purple has always been a royal color. Give me Sirach 40 and 4. Sirach 40 and 4. Let's see. The book of Sirach, chapter 40 and verse 4. From him that weareth purple. From what? From him that weareth purple. From him that weareth purple. Pay attention. And a crown. And a crown. From him that weareth purple and a crown to show you purple and crown goes hand in hand. Royalty. Read. Unto him that is clothed with a linen frock. Unto him that is clothed with a linen frock that has the lowest gear on. So I'll show you there was a distinction between people that wore purple and people that wore regular clothes. Purple has always been, again, royalty. I'm going to drill this word in your head. Royalty. Not Mr. Softies, but royalty. Remember, kings kill people for a living. That's what they do. So ain't no softy. Royalty. All right? Was that it on that? Yeah. Yes. Uh, give me um, Luke 16, 19. The book of Luke, chapter 16 and verse 19. There was a certain rich man. Which was clothed in purple. What was the rich man who clothed that? Which was clothed in purple. Rich people don't wear nothing cheap. They wear expensive clothes. Even when you see them with no labels on the clothes, they're expensive. 
That's what you got to understand. The Bible said, and there was a certain rich man clothed what? In purple. Finish that verse. In fine linen. Uh-huh. And fared some to, some to, sumptuously. sumptuously every day. So that man was rich. He was doing his thing. We're not going to go into the uh, parable, but it just wanted to show you rich people wore purple. All right? Give me Mark um, 15, 17. The book of Mark, chapter 15, verse 17. And they clothed him with purple. And they clothed who with purple? Christ. They took off his garment and put purple on him. Let's see for what reason. And platted a crown of thorns and put it about his head. Now, why would they do that? You don't have the whole Bible. We read purple always go with a crown. But him, they put purple on him and a crown of thorn. Read. Verse 20. And when they had mocked him. You see why? They're mocking them. Because he's, he's the king of the Jews. So to mock him, they put purple on him and a crown of thorn. Right? Verse 20 from the top. And when they had mocked him, mm -hmm. they took off the purple from him and put his own clothes on him and let him out to crucify him. So after they mock him, so they put that purple on him just to make fun of him. They say, hey, look at your king now. He's wearing purple. They finished clowning him and then they put back his uh, garment on and then guess what? They led him to be sacrificed. So us, we were purple and gold. This is the reason why. Because we have a royalty state of mind. And Christ was mocked wearing purple and gold. Guess what? We're going to mock them wearing purple. So that's the story of the color purple. Read your Bible before you open your mouth and talk. With that, we say shalom. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.